What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links livestream slash full box review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming main box, Warriors Unite, and I'm going to be talking about every single card that has been leaked so far when it comes to this box. Before we get onto it, though, I'm going to go share out my YouTube broadcast so we can get some people in here, and also just keep in mind if this, you know, after this thing is as a video and you guys are watching this, there might be some background noise and interruptions throughout this video because it's getting to the time where some of my family members are coming home and all that stuff right there, so it's going to be a little bit busy but first i'm gonna go share my broadcast and then we're gonna get into uh today's and then we're gonna get into today's box review i'm gonna try my best to get through this box review as quick as i can because honestly i don't want to take up too much time in today's stream because i kind of can't we'll see what happens though because i do ramble too much reviewing the upcoming main box join the stream okay very epic right there like the thumbnail like how the thumbnail turned out that's for sure anyways that was a bless you're the first person in the stream what's up saying dragon dark rebellion churro yt giovanni ben mato dual maker dual links you got the platinum three of the amazons that's awesome and yeah like i said i don't want to waste too much time so honestly i'm just gonna get going onto this box review right away and then for everybody that missed out on certain sections of this box review just watch the video afterwards also i appreciate it if any of you guys in chat when new people come into the stream and check out the stream and stuff like that if they're asking if i talked about certain cards and stuff like that just tell them that i'm gonna be once the stream is finished you can go rewatch it from there because i don't want to take too much time right there so yeah what's up brad what is up Anyways, though, so we're just going to go talk about um, all the cards. And the first card we're going to be talking about is Scrap Twin Dragon. Scrap Twin Dragon is an attribute Earth. It's a level 9 Dragon a Synchro Monster. It takes one Scrap Tuner plus one or more non-Tuner Monsters. Once per turn, you can select one card you control and two cards your opponent controls. Destroy the one the one you control and return two cards from your opponent controls to their hand. Once card destroyed by opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, you can send it to the graveyard. And send to the graveyard, you can select the non-Synchro Scrap Monster in your graveyard and special summon it. This card has 3,000 attack to one. 20 to 100 defense points now i am not knowledge i am not knowledge on scraps at all okay like i remember when this deck first came out i was not a fan of this deck at all so i never bothered with it i am curious though and i'm gonna go to uh dual links real quick i want to check out like one what scrap cards do i have and two if i can even figure out a combo to easily summon into that card but i'm gonna be honest i didn't really care too much about scraps didn't really care too much about scraps and actually it looks like i have a decent amount of the cards uh, not too much of the URs, though. Let me sort by rarity. Uh, yeah, I don't really have too much of everything right there. But, I don't know, for what it's worth, it seems pretty cool. Uh, what about that, like, dog thing or whatever? Yeah, no, I'm not too sure I'm, like, a good combo for that. You're gonna want to go for quick draw and quill bolt and everything like that. I don't really, I can't really say, like, a good combo in mine, because I just not knowledge on this at all for a quick synchro summon i'm gonna guess you're gonna want to use what's the tuner is it what what type of tuners was there because remember scrap this guy was a good one for that once per turn okay i'm gonna guess you're gonna want to go for scrap golem plus uh scrap orthos to go for a synchro summon of that you are that's the only combo that i can think of quickly to go into um you know scrap twin dragon right here and i'm gonna have to remember to cycle through my scenes a lot yeah but i don't know go go use a uh, combo scrap twin dragon with um you know this uh doggo right here and that golem that's the only one i can think of but i bet there's way better combos than what i thought of right there scraps are gonna be interesting so i did look at uh, the other ur for scraps and it seems pretty good what the fuck new box already this is too fast uh there's no release date for the box yet so don't worry too much but it might the box might get announced tomorrow it just depends on what happens so there's that right there we're gonna go back to the display screens right here and we're just gonna go on to the next epic box review how many uh copies of the old scrap you are is necessary though absolutely no clue man i'm not knowledge on scraps at all i am sorry about that homie but i uh, just have no knowledge on the um, scraps yo you hype for 500 gems yes dude next up we're gonna talk about road warrior this is an attribute light eight star warrior synchro it takes road synchro plus two or more non tuner monsters once per turn especially when a level two or lower warrior for, uh, machine type monster from your deck now if i'm gonna guess i'm gonna take an educated guess i'm guessing road synchron is either gonna be a normal yeah, okay, so Road and Synchron is going to be a normal card. So this is the tuner monster that you're going to need to use to summon into Road Warrior. Of course, you could use Quick Draw Synchron to also go for Road Warrior, but honestly, due to the fact that we don't have cards like Level Eater, I'd probably stay away from Quick Draw Synchron because you do need two other monsters for Road Warrior. Nonetheless, though, uh, Road Synchron, for anybody that wants to know, Road Synchron is an attribute light. It's a level four star tuner monster. When this card is used as a synchro material for a synchro summon of a monster other than World Warrior, to reduce this card's level by two. This card's attack at the end of the damage step increases its level by 
by one till the end of the turn. So what's going to be most likely happening is that when you're going to be using this card, it's going to be Road Synchron at level four. If you're going to be Synchro Summoning into Road Warriors, so that means you're going to need to get two other cards that um, are like level two or lower. So maybe like two Quobold Hedgehogs if you're a mad lad. Uh, what other some special summonable stuff? I guess we can go to Duel Links real quick and type in like Synchron or something like that and see what pops up. Let me see if I can even remember how to spell Synchron. Oh, I actually spelled it right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I know. Synchron Explorer might um, actually help out. You can probably use cards like Synchron Explorer. Junk Anchor. Actually, Junk Anchor might be decent because you can use Junk Anchor as a substitute for Road Synchron if you want to. That's a that's an option right there. That exists. Um, yeah, Mox Synchron. So, yeah, I don't know. Synchron Explorer and Junk Anchor might help you out for Synchro Summoning into Road War. Honestly, no, I don't think Road War is going to be that good of a card, in my opinion. In my uh, personal opinion. But it's cool that it exists and you can combo Quick Draw Synchron some of the other Synchron cards that go into Road War. What is up, Kirito? Summon Cyberstein from deck. Cyberstein only goes for uh, fusion cards, my guy. What is up, RDX? Welcome to the stream. Is Quick Draw Synchron a better tricky? Yes. Force Synchro Summoning. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think uh, Synchron, yeah, I think uh, it's Quick Draw Synchron in certain cases is a better tricky, especially if you combo it with Quill Bull Hedgehog. Quill Bull Hedgehog and Quick Draw Synchron are going to be like just peanut butter and jelly to make that sandwich for your Synchro Summoning. Like, that's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be, so. And there's that right there. So, yeah, Road Warrior, it's a cool card, but I don't really know how I feel about it too much. Anyways, uh-oh, the website isn't loading that much. Hopefully my stream doesn't die. That's the only thing I'm afraid of. If I'm having lag issues, I just hope that the stream doesn't die, but I think we're good. Next up, though, we're going to talk about the Mobilist the Frost Monarch. This is a level 6 attribute water monster. Once this card is tribute summoned, you can target up to two spell and track cards in the field and destroy those targets. Sadly, though, your opponent can still react. They can still activate their back row if they want to, if they trap cards or spell cards are reactable still that's a pretty solid card right there you can honestly like i was honestly thinking about i mentioned this in my uh first video talking about this box and announcing the box uh basically like honestly i could easily see someone that's like a whale and gets three copies of like quick draw synchro and quobble hedgehog the monarch you could honestly be like a mad lad and go for quick draw synchron like i use quick draw synchron for your tribute material for your monarch or if you don't have your monarch then use quick draw synchron and quobble full synchro materials like i think you could build a sick synchro summon deck that combines like monarchs i think that'd be a cool idea to combo like a synchro deck along with monarchs i don't know though i don't know how well it would combo though because i know that some monarch cards and some monarch support cards hate the extra deck like some monarch um extra deck stuff just they don't like the extra deck at all so it, it, you're going to be limited on what you can use but i mean just like thinking only about like frost monarch for example that's a possibility that's a possibility right here. For budget reasons, I'm excited for Dex Box. Play that on the TCG. It's a really powerful deck. Small box with a big heart. I need to check out those Dex Box. I think, weren't they introduced in, like, the Arc 5 era? I think that's what I remember them from, but I, like, don't know any of those cards. But if they are pretty good, that'd be sick. Anyways, though, yeah, I don't know. Frost Marduk Synchro deck, I might make it happen. We'll see. Next up, we're going to talk about the Legendary 6 Samurai Shien. This is probably going to be one of the main targets that a lot of people are going to go for, especially for Samurai players, because there's so much 6 Samurai support in this box. This card is a dark level 5 warrior. Synchro takes one turn to one turn monster plus one, you know, non tuner 6 Samurai monsters. Once per turn, when your opponent activates the spell a trap card, quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, if this card is on the field and would be destroyed by a battle card effect, you can set and destroy another 6 Samurai monster you control and actually here let me uh chat is actually covering i think i might hide chat to be honest because it is kind of covering the wording right here or i can make chat smaller i just realized that we're gonna make chat pretty small right there just to keep it there but um yeah some of the cards are gonna get covered by the text right there yeah that's better anyway so yeah you can negate the activation if you do destroy it if this card on the field would be destroyed by battle card effect you can destroy another six samurai control instead 2500 attack 1400 defense this card's pretty good the fact that you can negate a spell and trap card once per turn is really good and also this card most likely won't be that hard to summon one combo i thought of immediately is combo junk synchron with two level two star six samurai monsters which i believe are in this box if i scroll down uh let's go see they might be the normal ones they might be normal ones but i think from yeah so we have one six samurai right here that's a level two monster that you can use and then also we have this secret secret six samurai you can use for a tuner monster so those are some options right there and then also six samurai monsters love special summoning each other so honestly i'm gonna guess there's a three star six samurai tuner in this box along with one of the six samurai i think there's a three star tuner and a two star six samurai monster that you can easily special summon into so honestly 
I think Xi'an's gonna be easy to summon into, um, honestly. And I think the and I think this four star, yeah, I think this four star card uh, right here uh, can special summon it itself, so which is pretty cool. And I wish that my chat and stuff wasn't covering it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna remove chat because some of the wording just gets covered right there. We're just gonna remove chat um, for now because I misread stuff anyway, so I want you guys to actually see the text. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. Let's get Xi'an's pretty good. Uh, let me check out like what six samurais we already have though in dual links, because I think I have except for Grandmaster. Don't have Grandmaster. Other than that, I have an all right amount of uh, the six samurai cards. And let me type in your eye. Um, so there's that right there. But yeah, I don't know. We have Hand of the Six Samurai in the game. We got. Uh, I I might combo Great Shogun Xi'an. Eh, actually, yeah, I could, because before I Synchro Summon, I can Special Summon Xi'an. Yeah, it's a possibility. Uh, I don't know what else, though. I don't know. I think, uh, I don't know if you're going to need a lot of the support. Uh, I think you're going to need, like, the UR Six Samurai Monsters. I think getting the UR Six Samurai Monsters is going to be really good. I don't know if you're going to need these normal ones, though, but I'm not knowledge in Six Samurais, so I don't really know. Uh, I think there's one a rare Six Samurai, Special Summon itself, if you have another Samurai. Okay, that's um, very interesting right here. Ben, downside of my entire month's pay is going to get wasted by tra digital trading cards. I think you commented that, Ben, on one of my videos. It was either you or someone else that commented that meme. That's pretty funny, but don't don't, don't spend all of it, my guy. Save, save some of it, my guy. Or pray to the Konami gods and go to the free-to-play mountains to not waste all your gems. Two copies of Grandmaster enough for the new support? I'd assume so. I don't, I don't know if three is going to be, like, needed, needed. Not knowledge in Six Samurais, though. Uh, but yeah, I have zero copies of it, so screw me, I guess. Feels bad. Anyways, though, let's go move on to some more epic, epic reviews. Next up, we're going to talk about... Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about Quick Draw Synchron right here. Probably one of the cards that I'm going to go for the most. If I pull this card, I'm resetting the box instantly. Quick Draw Synchron is a win five-star machine tuner. You can special summon this card from your hand by sending one monster from your hand to the graveyard for a Synchro. Or yeah, that's how you special summon it. For a Synchro Summon, you can substitute this card for any Synchron tuner monster. Cannot be used to Synchron material except for the Synchro Summon of a monster that lists Synchron monster as a tuner. I'm so hyped about this card. This card can work on a lot of stuff. It can work on Road Warrior. It's going to work on Nitro Warrior. Um, it won't work on Charter Stardust Chess Warrior. I'm going to guess it's not going to work on any of these other... Um, none of these other ones right here, I don't think. Uh, but let me go back to uh, Duel Links real quick. Let's go back to Duel Links. Sync, Ron. Yeah, so you can use it with Junk Destroyer. You can use it with Junk Berserker. And currently, you can't use it with Junk Warrior. Level Eater was in the game. Or if they're... Like, I actually have a question. Is there even a skill, like, level, like, subtraction? I don't think there was. I don't think there was, like, a, a one called level subtraction. But I wish there was, I wish there was a skill, like, level subtraction. Because if there was, then you could have... Oh, wait. Level reduction. Okay, actually, yeah, so you can actually use level reduction with um, your uh, quick draw synchron to go into Junk Warrior. Yeah, you could do that. So if you had, like, a quick draw synchron and, like, two copies of Cold Blood Hedgehog in your hand, you could special summon one of your, yeah, you can special summon one of your um, junk quick draw synchrons, and then with your other, like, two star monster in your hand, you can reduce the level of your, uh, yeah, you can reduce the level of your monster. Make Quick Draw Synchron a three star monster, and then use your level two Quibble Hedgehog to go into Junk War if you really want to do that. That's good. I'm happy that I looked this up before I like finished out my sense. But yeah, you can use level reduction to summon Junk Warrior with Quick Draw Synchron if you're a mad lad like that. It's just not practical. It, it's just, it's just not it's just not practical at all. Yes, it is in the description. RDX is right. The uh, box is in the description right there. So that's good. That level reduction exists. That's pretty cool. So yeah, Quick Draw Synchron, it's a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome to set a special summon into Nitro Warrior and stuff. I'm excited to use Nitro Warrior because this card's pretty decent. And yeah, like honestly, the main combo with Quick Draw Synchron is that you're going to go Quick Draw Synchron, Cobalt Hedgehog, go into Nitro Warrior. That's probably going to be the number one player you're going to do. Or you can go into Junk Berserker if you want to, not thinking about it, because we can like go back to this. Um, and you can also go to... So Junk Berserker and Nitro Warrior are great targets to easily summon into, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so that's pretty cool. I guess I won't go back to the card catalog for now. Now thinking about it, no point. So yeah, let's go move on to the next uh, next uh, card right here. We're gonna talk about the legendary Six Samurai Kizen. This is an Earth Four Star Warrior effect. If you control a Six Samurai monster with a different name, you can special summon this card from your hand. While I control two or more Six Samurai monsters, card gains their own attack and defense. Honestly, uh, I think the biggest part about this is the fact that it is a special summonable monster. I do want to double check the one star. 
Um, I, like I said, I haven't went through every, like, card through this box yet, but is this a tuner? Okay, so probably the combo we're gonna want to go for is with the secret Six Samurai Fuma. This is a one-star tuner monster. Six Samurai Fuma, summon normal summon Fuma, and then special summon your, uh, Kizen right here to then synchro summon into Xi'an. That's gonna probably be the main target right there to easily, uh, go right there. That's cool. Oh, and he's a 21 beat stick because he counts himself. That's also cool right there. But yeah, honestly, the easiest combo is just six samurai, legendary six samurai. Combo it with this one star tuner, go to Xi'an. Or you can play that one other random one that I talked about where you can play Junk Synchron. Yeah, maybe, I, I'm actually curious. Maybe what grows in the graveyard? What grows in the graveyard might be pretty decent. Because what, if you combo Junk Synchron and combo some of the two star six samurai monsters, you can go into Xi'an. Also, if you play What Grows in the Graveyard, since it hasn't gotten nerfed yet, you can also add Armades into your deck. That's interesting. That, that, that is very interesting right there. Uh, six, I don't know when Ice Barrier support is going to get into Duel Links. I think it's going to be a while until we even fathom getting Trish Law into Duel Links. Who knows, though. Next up, though, we're going to talk about this card that I guess might be actually a, like, Japanese exclusive or something like that. And I wish that the... Uh... Yeah, I wish that uh, some of the text wasn't covered up. Oh, well. Anyways, though, Herald the Abyss. This is a spell normal card. Thank you so much for subscribing, One Piece, Magora. Appreciate it, homie. Road to 10,000 subscribers. Like, yo, for the 111 people watching the stream, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I want to get to uh, 10,000 subscribers at one point in my YouTube career, so I'd appreciate that. Anyways, though, Herald the Abyss, spell normal card. Pay 1,500 life points and declare a monster type and attribute. Your opponent must send one face of monster with the declared type and attribute from their field to the graveyard, if possible. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate uh, the effects of monsters with that set monster's name. You only can activate one Herald the Abyss per turn. DJ Sona, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Herald the Abyss is kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie, this card is actually kind of wild. So you do pay 1,500 life points, but you get this. It's like a buffed up Super Rush Headlong if you think about it. It's not an OCG exclusive? Okay. Well, I don't know why Dual Links Matt is using this image for the card. Maybe they're just not like any good images for this card at all. Herald Abyss to get rid of that Spear Karibo. But, is, but doesn't it say face a monster? Well, actually, yeah, you can still stop Spear Karibo with this effect. It's just that um, you don't get the benefit of sacking off a monster. Also, Montana and the other name that I can't pronounce because it's in a different language. I love you all. Keep the sub train going, homies. Keep the sub train going. We're on a four. We're on a quad feed with this sub train. I love you all. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, I think Herald Abyss is a good card. I think it's a buffed up. Oh yeah, I guess it is a buffed up tribute to the Doom. It's like, it's like a mix of Tribute to the Doom and Super Rush Headlong. The reason why I thought uh, Super Rush Headlong right away is because of the fact that you declare a monster type and attribute. Or you declare like an attribute, that's kind of why I thought that. But yeah, it's kind of like a mix of those. And what's nice about the cost for the LP, what's nice about the LP cost too is that you can trigger your other um, skills and stuff. You can play those uh, field spell skills. You can uh, corporate, you can get ready your um, uh, skills that let you draw into a certain card. Like the Herald of the Abyss is... I think it's a pretty good card. Like I said, I'm gonna like reset on Quick Draw Synchron, but I kinda hope to get a couple copies of Herald of the Abyss before I reset this box, because this card actually looks pretty spicy. And it doesn't destroy either. God, this card is actually gonna be pretty annoying. Like if you go against a whale player in rank PvP and he has three copies of this card, oof, that's a yikes right there. Next up, we're going to talk about Scrap Factory. This card is, like, crazy good. Scrap Factory is this field spell card. All Scrap Monsters gain 200 attack and defense. When a face-up Scrap Monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon a Scrap Monster from your deck. You only can use the effect once per turn. The fact that you can special summon from the deck after you destroy your Scrap Monster is just insane. Like, like I said, I don't know much about Scraps, but I do know that their whole kind of archetype is destroying themselves. So the fact that you play scrap, scrap Factory and you get to special summon a monster after you already destroying one of your Scrap Monsters is crazy. Like, it, it, it is, it is going to be crazy to deal with when it comes to that. Like, Scraps, I think they got the support. And for anybody that was Scrap fans before this new support came out are probably super duper happy. Super duper happy. <laughs> that reminds me of the Terminator movie ending the artwork like that. Nice. Who plays Pokemon TCG? Plus, I agree. I agree, furry. Big facts. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Scrap Factory is a pretty good card, and also uh, Gaming Elk Pro. I don't play the TCG that much for Pokemon, but uh, I have played it in the past. I like the Pokemon TCG. It's all right. Next up, we're gonna talk about Shuffle Reborn. This is a normal spell card. If you control no monsters, target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated. Also banish it during the end phase. You can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one card you control, shuffle it into the deck, then draw a card. Also during the end phase of the turn, banish a card from your hand. You only can use the effect of Shuffle Reborn once per turn. This card is kind of weird. 
It is a weird and interesting card. So yeah, you activate this, and this is not a turn one card in most cases. This is not a turn one card in most cases, on, unless you're playing... Um, I guess you could combo this with what grows in the graveyard. You can combo this with what grows in the graveyard, but... Um, yeah, you target a grave monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but specs are gated, and then banish it during the end phase. You can banish this card for your graveyard, then target a card you control, shuffle it back to the deck, and then draw a card. Also, during the end phase of the turn, banish a card for your hand. So, this card is kind of wacky. Honestly, I think what goes in the grave is going to combo well with this card. Because people that are going to be using this card are probably going to want to play it as quick as they can. And you're going to want to get a graveyard instantly when you can. So cart or like cart like skills like what grows a graveyard is going to combo well with it. Sadly though, with it, you're going to, once your monster is off the field, it's going to get banished. So it's not going to last that long. But I think Shuffle Reborn is going to be an interesting card. I think some, like, I'm probably not going to go for this card that much. I don't really have any ideas for this card. But I think some people that are really creative out there can get some good uses out of it. So there's that right there. What's up, Sleep Forever? Welcome to the stream. I'm going to go check this text message real quick. Okay, it's not, not that important. Just making sure. I'm afraid uh, around this time, since it's like almost 5 o'clock for me, sometimes my mom calls me and asks, like, what's the plan for supper or what supper idea that I want. So if I'm interrupted at any point through the stream, you're going to know why right there. But that text message is from a friend. I'll answer that later. Next up, though, we're going to talk, talk, start talking about the SR cards. One of my favorite SR cards from this box is definitely going to be Nitro Warrior. So Nitro Warrior is an attribute fire level 7 uh, warrior synchro. It takes Nitro Synchron plus one or more dots in your monsters. Once during each of your turns, if you activate a spell card, this card gains a thousand attack during the next hack this turn evolving this card. During damage calculation only. If this attacking card destroys opponent's, opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation, you can target a face-up defense position monster opponent controls, change that target to attack position, then this card can make it a second attack in a row on that monster. Really sick card. Really sick card right there. Um, I'm pretty happy for this. An easy, easy, easy combo for Nitro War is the combo. Quick Draw Synchron plus Cobalt Hedgehog. Easy combo right there. These two cards alone can easily go into Nitro Warrior. Play any of your spell cards to give this guy a nice 1,000 attack. I think Enemy Controller is going to rock well with it. Hate Trinade is going to rock well with this card. Um, just stuff like that is going to be pretty nice right there. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say when it comes to this um, card. But yeah, Nitro Warrior is pretty hype. And I'm looking forward to it. Also, I'm going to guess that running equip spells with this card is probably going to be the most beneficial for you. Because you can get the boost up of this attack. So honestly, not thinking about it, Nitro Warrior plus Power Tool Dragon would be a good combo. Because with Power Tool Dragon, you use equip spells already. Nitro Warrior gets a bonus with equip spells because it gains a thousand attack after you activate a spell card. So honestly, not thinking about it, I think Power Tool Dragon and Nitro Warrior is going to be a really sick deck to combo with that right there. I think, I think that's going to be a good idea right there to use both Nitro Warrior and uh, Power Tool because it's kind of like a synergy um, right there. So that is pretty cool. Six Samurai shall rise once more. What is up, Soul Burner? Let's go move on to the next epic card, though. Next up, we're going to talk about Parry Knights. This is a six-star warrior effect. When you take battle damage from opponents, attacking monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon one monster from your hand with attack less than or equal to the damage you took. Okay, this has 2300 attack, 2100 defense. Yeah, I mean, it's cool that you can special summon this card. Honestly, Parry Knights, from the first thing that I can think of on top of my head, is comboing Parry Knights with Nitro Warrior because where is that one star tuner boy? Oh, wait, no, Nitro Sinker on the two star. I was thinking of something else. Never mind. I was thinking I was thinking of Turbo Warrior because if you guys watched the 5Ds anime, I was thinking of that Turbo, a Turbo Synchron, and it was a one. Yeah. Turbo Synchro. I was thinking of that. Never mind. Scrap that idea. Don't use Parry Knights to Synchro Summon with Nitro Warrior. I only thought that because I was thinking that Nitro Warrior was Turbo Warrior from the show. Scratch that though. But I don't know. You can use this as a special summonable material. This reminds me of that like purpley thorny card. I remember that. I think it reminds me of that. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, if you take battle damage from opponent's monster, special summon this card from your hand. And then you can just special summon a quick monster from your hand with attack less than the equal damage you took. I guess it's cool though that you can special summon two monsters of Parry Knight. Now thinking about it, I just read that last, like I just processed that last part about Parry Knights, but the fact that you can special summon a monster equal to the damage you took, that's actually kind of cool. I think some people can figure out some sick combos with Parry Knights. That is for sure. Uh, Dolphin 10, uh, I haven't found a release date for this box yet. Hopefully we get a release date on that tomorrow. Like Konami might announce this box tomorrow. So is there is that right there? Kind of another text message is from the same friend. Yeah, it's from the same friend. Okay, next up we have Stardust Charge Warrior. I am happy that this card's in the game. This is one of the cards that you say used in the level 48. So Stardust Charge Warrior, 
Awesome, and we got it. This is a win six star warrior synchro. It takes one, two, plus one or more non tuner monsters. When this card is synchro summon, you can draw a card. You only can use effective star charge warrior once per turn. This card can attack all special monsters, special summon monster opponent control once each. Honestly, common league psychic uh, wielder is going to be a good a way to easily summon this star charge warrior. I think that's probably what I'm going to go for if I pull a couple copies of star charge warriors to make a deck centered around this card. Because this card is fucking sick looking. I love Stardust Dragon. Stardust Dragon is such a cool card. So the fact that it has like these, like, I guess, like, I don't know, like, Knights for Stardust Dragon, because uh, there's, like, these Stardust cards and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So, Stardust Charge Warrior, it's pretty sick. I'm happy about that, that's for sure. And also, it is a generic synchro, so you can combo with some other cards, too, if you want to. So, Stardust Charge Warrior, I hope I pull a couple copies of it. Next up, we're going to talk about Red Sparrow Summoner. And this card has an interesting artwork. Like, it reminds me... Like, is this related to the archetype? Yeah, I, I think it's related to the summoner archetypes. We have, like, Blue Dragon Summoner. We have, and then we got, like, some of those. I forgot what the other summoners were called, but we've been recently getting a lot of these summoner cards. So that's why I kind of recognize this card, is because of that whole summoner, like, thing right there. Now, draw one makes him break even. That's pretty good. Yeah. Two. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you use two cards to summon into Star's Charge Warrior, and then you draw, yep, that, yep, that breaks even. You're right, you're right. Next up, though, yeah, when this card is just, you control destroyed by battles, uh, by battle with the opponent's monster and sends it graveyard, there's some of the warrior time monster with 1500 less attack and attack position. Okay, honestly, I can see this being uh, used in synchro decks or synchron decks and used in a six samurai decks. That's about it. School is all right. Uh, honestly, my second semester of school has been super boring. I haven't been enjoying my second semester because it's just boring it is, but for the most part, it's pretty easy. I'm looking forward to finishing high school, though, for just how boring my classes are. It is kind of a waste of time right now. Yeah, I don't know. Red Sparrow Summoner doesn't really catch my eye too much, but it's cool that it exists. Next up, we have a Scrap Beast. This is an attribute Earth. It's a four-star Beast Turner. If this face-up defense fish monster is targeted for an attack, at the end of the battle phase, destroy this card. If this card would be destroyed by effect of a Scrap card and sends the graveyard, you could target one Scrap monster in your graveyard, except Scrap Beast, and add it to your hand. So this is a tuner monster. You're probably going to want to use that with your Scrap Twin Dragon, because, you know, it is a four-star tuner right there. Um, if this card gets destroyed during the battle phase, uh, you can... Um, if this card is destroyed by effect of a Scrap card and sends the graveyard, you can target a Scrap Monster, uh, Scrap Monster, special summon it. Due to the fact that this does happen during the battle phase, though, it doesn't combo too well Scrap Factory, now thinking about it, so... Keep that in mind right there, but I don't really know how I feel about it. Said multiple times this stream, I'm not knowledge on the Scrap archetype, so... There's that right there. Wait, is that Thumbner the first generic floater? I'm honestly not too sure. I, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, because it special summons it. Yeah, because all the other summoners, don't they add to the hand? Yeah, that's actually... It's not, like, generic generic, but, yeah, you it gets killed, and you just special summon another warrior monster. Sadly, though, it does a combo with itself because it is a spellcaster. Because, as you guys know, there's been, like, cards in the TCG. Like, for example, UFO Turtle. UFO Turtle gets destroyed, special summon another UFO Turtle. But, yeah. That, that, that's actually pretty good right there. Yeah, I think Red Sparrow Summoner might have some really good plays. The fact that it's just special summons right there. Six like Sam's top tier? I kind of hope so, but I'm also afraid of that. We'll see, though. Next up, we have Cool World Hedgehog. Talked about this guy multiple times in today's stream, but just a quick rundown. Attribute Earth, level 2 machine effect. This card's in your graveyard, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Must control a tutor monster to activate and resolve effect. Said multiple times in today's stream, combo with Quick Draw Synchron. Quick Draw Synchron and uh, Cool World Hedgehog are like peanut butter and jelly, and they love making some seven star synchro sandwiches so yeah quibble hedgehog is awesome i'm super excited about that next up we have burial from a different dimension target up to three banished monsters return back to the graveyard cool right there i don't really know what other combos i want to think of though right there so and there is that so cool right there burial from a different dimension very epic next up we have a uh, concentrating current this is a quick play spell card target one face of monster you control it gains attack equal to the current defense till the end of the turn other monsters you control cannot attack during the turn you activate this card okay i mean you can combo this with some really beefy fusion monsters i can honestly easily see this card being a good farm card um for certain decks so that's the only thing i can think of on top of my head but i think some people are going to find a lot of good uses with this card that's for sure do you guys have a Yu-Gi-Oh! table during lunch at your high school? My high school had one when I was a senior back in 2010. Uh, there used to be a card gaming club um, a couple years ago at my high school. That did not happen anymore, though. The card gaming club like closed down after a semester, though. It was a ton of fun, though. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Next up, though, we're going to be talking about Six Samurai United. This is a spell continuous card. Each time a Six Samurai monster is normal special summon, place a Bushio counter on this card, maximum of two. You can send this card to Graveyard, draw a card for each Bushio counter on this card. So this is exactly like card curry autonomy, except for Six Samurais. 
But the differences between Karakuri Autonomy and Six Samurai is the fact that Six Samurai gets counters by special summon or normal summons. Uh, the Karakuri Autonomy uh, gets this with counters by switching the defense vision. Kind of does the same thing though. Pretty cool that Six Sam's have this. Also, what this means is the fact that Six Samurais have a card like this is that Offerings to the Doom is definitely going to be a card that Six Samurais are going to use because what's nice about Offerings to the Doom is that it works really well with decks that have high draw power. So, Six Samurai United is going to help you out with that draw power. You can easily play that, um, yeah, that uh, Offerings to the Doom card and be chilling. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up, we have Necro Fusion. Fusion Summon 1, a Fusion Monster from your extra deck by banishing Fusion Materials list on it from your graveyard face down. It cannot attack this turn. Honestly, this card would be insane if the monster could attack right away, but um, it sounds like you can use this during your opponent's turn. So when your opponent is about to fuck you up, when your opponent destroyed all of your monsters, you can activate your Necro Fusion and then Special Summoning during their turn, which is actually pretty good. So that's probably going to be the easiest way to use this card, if I'm reading it correctly, where you just use this on your opponent's turn, get a big-ass Dragon or Synchro Mon- not Synchro Monster, Fusion Monster on the field, get a big Fusion Monster, and just go to town. Surprise Master of Oz, yeah, just go to town with it, man. That's for sure. This is gonna be- this is a pretty good card. I feel like a lot of memes are gonna happen from this right there. I honestly think I want to try it out with, um, Heroes. Heroes might, uh, be decent with this. I don't know, though. But, yeah. Also, dude, this is amazing support for Buster Blader, now thinking about it. I think Buster Blader is gonna like this, which is not good, because I don't like Buster Blader. Buster Blader is kind of annoying. Next up, though, we're gonna talk about Six Style Dual Wield. And we're gonna scroll down a little bit. If the only monster you control is one Six Samurai Monster face attack position, target two cards opponent controls, return them to your hand. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah, if you go for that, so yeah, if you have like a mediocre opening turn, or if you don't want to pop off right away and you have six style dual wield, you can honestly just normal summon your a six samurai monster, set a dual wield and wait a turn. Because let's be real here, I, I think that I can, like, you can agree with me on this part. Sometimes when you're playing decks, it is horrible to pop off turn one because your opponent will break your board instantly. This is a good turn one uh, trap card right here, specifically for that, where maybe you have all the cards that pop off, but you kind of don't want to, like, at all. So, there's that right there. That trap is a monster hate grenade. So, yeah, it's this card's going to be annoying, and going against a 6am turn one, you're probably going to need to play around dual wield, run a couple of anti-back row stuff so you can just snipe that dual wield real quick. No confirmed date for the pack, Dolphin. I've said that to you already in today's stream. So yeah, that's it for the UR and SR. It's a solid lineup. I don't know how overpowered some of these decks are uh, cards are going to be, but I'm liking this lineup. I'm really excited for this box. I haven't been this hyped for a box in a while now, and I'm probably going to whale the fuck out of this box. So there is that right there. Next up, let's go check out some of the rare cards right here and just take a look at them. And now we got an Ally Justice card. It's been a while since we had one of these. So this is a 10-star machine a synchro tuner plus two or more non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, if your opponent controls a face of light monsters, you can activate one of these effects. You can select select a, a set card your opponent controls to destroy it. Send one card to your from your hands to the graveyard, destroy all spell and your opponent controls. Send all cards from your hands to the graveyard to look at your opponent's hands, send all light monsters from the hands of the graveyard, and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total attack of your opponent's monsters since the graveyard. Wild. 3300 attack, 3300 defense. I do need to look up though. I do need to look up on um, here right now. What do we got for ally justice? I know we have some of this stuff. Interesting. So what was that again? That was a uh, nine, 10 star monster. Okay, so that was a 10 star right there. Um, ally mine you're probably going to want to use because it's a 5 star. Well, what else though? I don't know. I, I don't play ally of justice that much. And also, let's thin out the thing right here. I don't really know, though. We had that card for, like, years now. Yeah, I don't know how well you're going to be able to pop off that card, to be honest. If your opponent controls two or more monsters, including light monster, you can special summon this card. I guess Ally of Justice, this one right here, would be pretty decent. And maybe if there's a two-star tuner monster that you can combo with. Like, what, what, what did it say? This is just... Okay, so yeah, you can combo that eight-star Ally of Justice and then... Oh wait, no you can't, because it takes two or more non tuner monsters. I don't know how I feel about this card. Yeah, I, f I agree, RDX. I think it is very gimmicky. I don't think I like this card. Like, if you pop off with this card, it's awesome, but it's way too inconsistent to get out. I don't think this is- I don't think this is gonna be uh, a pretty easy card to get out. At least it's a generic and you don't need ally justice cards to specifically synchro summon it into this monster. But I'm still not really that hyped for it, though, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean, you could probably combo with your scrap deck, maybe, if I'm being honest, because scrap deck seems to be able to get really high star, um, high star synchro monsters, so combo with scraps, maybe, I don't know. There's that right there, so 
There is that right there. Next up, we're going to talk about Jurassic Meteor. This looks kind of cool. This is a 10-star dinosaur synchro. It takes a Jurassic tuner plus two or more non-tuner dinosaur type monsters. When this card synchro summon, destroy all cards in the field. Then special summon a tuner monster from a graveyard. Wow, this card destroys itself. Yeah, it destroys itself. This guy, okay. And then you special summon a tuner monster from a graveyard. Okay, it is a literal meteor. This is a literal meteor right here. Okay, board wipe. Uh, very expensive, and I think it's a waste of time board wipe. But maybe I'm missing something. I don't really know, though. I was at school and I missed that stream. Hello, Andre. Well, once the stream's done, be sure to go watch it afterwards. Welcome to the stream, nonetheless, Andre. Thank you for stopping by. Next up, we have Deep Space Cruiser IX. Oh, I forgot. This is 9. It's either 9 or 11 in Roman numerals. Probably 9 because it's a level 9 monster. Anyway, so this is a machine effect. You special summon this card from your hand by sending another machine type monster from your hand to the graveyard. Oh! That's actually kind of neat. I don't know how... Yeah, I mean, you can't really synchro summon into this card or these two cards right there. But honestly, I think people might have a use for this card if they have a big ass synchro they want to summon into. I'm not sure if we have a good a Jurassic Tuner. Hopefully you can see some other Jurassic Tuners in this box. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know if you can summon Meteor from the grave um, or not. But if you can, then yeah, Jurassic Meteor would be pretty good. Still, Deep Space Cruiser is interesting. This is a very interesting card. Yeah, it would be good for a nine, uh, rank nine XC summons. Yeah, you're not completely wrong on that. Except we have a Super Mecharoid Stealth Union. I think this card got leaked a long time ago. Like, I think Mixeroid and Super Vehicle Ride actually got leaked a long, long time ago. And there probably were, like, ideas to get added for Cyrus, but they never decided to do it. So, that's just my guess. Anyway, so this is a 9-star Machine Fusion. This takes Truckroid, Expressroid, Druidroid, and Stealthroid. When this card attacks, the original attack is half until the end of the damage step. During battle between this attacking card and defense mission monster, whose defense is lower than the attack of this card, inflict the battle damage um, difference as battle damage to your opponent. Once uh, during once per turn during your main phase, you can select a face-up card on the field. Seven machine type monster, equip it to this card. I'll come to this card, this card can attack all your opponent's monsters your opponent controls once each. I feel like this is a waste of time. Honestly, I feel like this is uh, kind of a waste of time card. Survival's and Jurassic would probably work well, I agree. Man, I've been talking a lot. But yeah, I don't know. I think this is kind of a shrug. We're going to try to move on through most of these cards. I don't think I want to dive too much into the rest of these rares and ends. So I think I'm just going to fly through this stuff. But yeah, well, up next we have Super Ancient Dino Beast. This is an Earth 8-star Dino effect. You can tribute some of this card in face of attack position by tributing a dinosaur-type monster. When a dinosaur-type monster is special summoned from your graveyard except during the damage step, while this card's on the field, you can draw a card. Yeah, I mean, could be better. It's a solid 2700 beater. You get to draw a card out of it, um, and it's easy to tribute summon into. I think I think this might be a decent card in the future. I don't know, though. Super Ancient Dino Beast! Like, so we have Jurassic uh, Giganoto or something like that. Takes one, two, two plus one or more non tuner dinosaur type monsters. All face of Jurassic type monster you control and gain 200 attack for each Jurassic monster in your graveyard. I feel like we should just like go to Duel Links real quick and just type in Jurassic and see what's popping. See like some like at least the levels of some of the tuners if we even have any. Do we even have any uh, Jurassic tuners? Ooh, looks like we don't. Yeah, looks like uh, hopefully we can find some of these uh, Jurassic tuners in this box. And kind of compare it from there, but yeah. I don't know, Jurassic seem to be somewhat expensive, because I think these are from main boxes. Oh, no, level up reward for that guy. This is the level up reward. Primal Burst, okay. And then this is Primal Burst. So yeah, some of the Jurassic support cards are from, um, yeah, from uh, Primal Burst, so keep in mind on that. Interesting, though. Interesting. Next up, we're going to talk, or actually, oh yeah, this just gives your Jurassic monsters some attack bonus. That's about it. Next up, we're going to talk about Evil Sword Elias. This is a six-star dinosaur effect. When this uh, card is special summoned by the effect of an evil tile monster, especially summon a level six or lower fire dinosaur monster from your hand. So I could see this comboing already with the Jurassics. Yeah, you could probably combo this guy with Jurassics pretty easily, um, if I'm being honest. So maybe like Evil Tile and Jurassics can kind of combo there. They're both fire dinosaurs anyways, and also with the new dinosaur support we got in Duel Links, you can build a decent deck. You can build a decent deck, I would think, so that's kind of cool right there. Next up, we have Didi, a Unicorn, and Naito. This is a four-star warrior effect, cannot be normal summon or set. Only can special summon if your opponent controls a monster and you control a face-up tuner monsters. Once card is special summoned this way, you can select one of your level, uh, you can select one of your removed from play level three or lower. Non-tuner a monster special summon it. Effect are gated, cannot normal summon or set the turn you special summon this card. That's pretty interesting right there. Honestly, huh. Okay, this is actually interesting right here. 
I think... I forget the wording of the ending of it where you can't normal summon or set the turn you special summon this card. I'm hoping that you can normal summon a tuner monster and then follow up with DD Unicorn Knight. But do I forgot what the exact ruling was of that last chunk attacks because I could have sworn that you played like cards where you like normal summon your first like you normal summon right away and then followed up with the summon, you know? I think the wording of that means you can't pop off with that. I know that though, I think this card's cool because you can it's a special summonable monster if you have a tuner. Also, you could combo this with uh, Quick Draw Synchron if there's any like level 9 um, Synchron monsters, I guess. But there is not any like level 9 Synchro or Synchron monsters. Unless, actually, if you want to be a mad lad, actually, you know what? You want to, If you want to be a mad lad, play level reduction with Quick Draw Synchron. Play level reduction with Quick Draw Synchron. Use level, what, special summon Quick Draw Synchron. Special summon Quick Draw Synchron, yeah. And then use level reduction to lower Quick Draw Synchron to a level 1 monster. Then follow up with DD Unicorn Knight. Yeah, I, I gotta go. That's the only combo I can think of. That you just combo DD Unicorn Knight, Cobalt Headshot, Quick Draw Synchron. You can probably figure out some wacky combos with that, to be honest, so... There's that right there. Special summon and shenanigans. Next up, we're going to talk about Deskbot. A lot of people are looking forward to this archetype, so let's take a look at it. This is a level 4 machine effect. If this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation in either player's uh, turn, you can activate this effect once per battle. Your opponent takes no battle damage for the rest of this turn. Send one Deskbot monster from your deck to the graveyard, except uh, 004. And if you do, and this card gains attack and defense equals to the monster's level by uh, 500 during damage calculation only. This card destroys opponent's monster by battle. You can special summon two Deskbot monsters at different levels from your hand or graveyard in defense position. I can see the potential of this already. The fact that you can give this card a big um, a big boost can easily get over certain monsters, which is pretty nice. Some of the Death Spot monsters, if I remember correctly, have a lot of levels, so you can get this Death Spot monster pretty beefy and get over a lot of big monsters. And the fact that if it destroys opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon multiple Death Spot monsters uh, with different levels from your hand or graven in defense position is also really nice. It's going to help out with Synchro Summoning. The only downside is, though, is the fact that we don't have a main phase 2 and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is definitely going to hurt Death Spot. Desk, desk bots are definitely going to get hurt because of the fact that um, it isn't, um, there's no main phase 2. So you can't go for a synchro summon in your main phase 2, which does suck. Still, it is a cool archetype, and I, I can I can see the potential. Next up, we don't have we don't have our tuner yet, but we have Jurassic Vilo, 4 star, fire dinosaur effect. When this face up attack position card is attacked, or is attacked, uh, attacks or is attacked, and it destroys a balance in the graveyard, you can special summon a Jurassic monster with 1700 or less uh, attack from your deck. It's cool. We have kind of some floating action right there, and you can special summon uh, Velo from its own effect, which is pretty cool. Next up, we're going to talk about Legendary Six Samurai um, Inchi or something like that. Sorry for uh, mispronouncing it. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can banish two Six Samurai monsters from your graveyard to target a face of monster on the field. Return that target to your hand. You must control face of Six Samurai monster with a different name to activate and resolve its effect. While control two or more face up Six Samurai monster to accept this card, this card uh, gains fire attack and defense. Yeah, it's a solid rare card. It's not broken by any means, but it's not horrible by any means. Solid, solid um, six samurai card. Next up, we're gonna talk about Mixeroid. You contribute one machine type monster. Special summon a non-win roid from your deck. Pay half your life points and banish any number of machine monsters from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon for your extra deck one roid fusion monster with the same level as those banished monsters, ignoring summoning conditions, but destroy it during the end phase. You only can use the effect of Mixeroid once per turn. So yeah, basically its objective is to summon into this big boy right there. That's about it. Not gonna dwell too much on this because I don't know, this card's just like alright, but who knows, maybe roids will be broken. Next up, we're going to talk about Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. This is a three-star machine tuner. During either player's turn, you could discard this card to the graveyard, target up to two light monsters upon this graveyard, and banish those uh, targets. Okay. I Okay. Very cool. Next up, we have another Ally of Justice tuner monster. Once per turn, you can discard a card from your hand. It returns spell and track cards from the field to the hand equal to number of face tuners on the field. I think there's better cards than this, but it's definitely better than the previous Cycle Reader. The fact that you're returning cards and stopping your opponent's back row is nice, but honestly, there's a lot of better. There's a lot of better cards out there. Next up, we have Despot um, 03, or 003. This is a three-star machine effect. Once cards normal summon, special summon a Despot monster from your deck, except Despot 003. Uh, once per turn, during your player's turn, you can target a Despot monster in your control. Gains attack and defense for each Despot card you currently control until the end of the turn. That's pretty cool right here. Hopefully there's a Despot Tuner Monster. If there isn't, then I don't see too much potential in this deck, but if there is a Despot Tuner Monster, I'm going to look forward to this, because Despot, this Despot card plus a Despot Tuner Monster is going to go for some awesome combos. Awesome combos. Awesome Synchro Summoning combos, to be specific. 
Next up, we're going to talk about Elder of the Six Samurai, Attribute Earth, 3 Star Warrior Effect. If your opponent controls a monster, you control no monsters, fetch someone's card from your hand. Okay. Yeah, that's honestly not that bad at all. Good turn two card right here. Good toon turn card right here. I, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but I think it's going to definitely open up combos. And if there's a two star tuner, Six Samurai monster, spicy. Spicy right there. Next up, we have a legendary Six Samurai Keiichi. This is a level three warrior effect. Once card's normal summon, special summon a level four lower um, Samurai monster for a hand. While I control a Samurai monster with a different name, this card gains 1500 attack. This is actually surprisingly good. Honestly, this is a more like like I said, this card would be amazing if there's a two star, uh, if there's a two star six samurai monster. If there is not, still this card has potential because you can combo this three star with the one star six samurai. You can combo it with this guy too. Yeah. Well, no, this is, doesn't count as a six samurai monster. Yeah, it doesn't count as six samurai monster. Where's that? Uh... Oh no, yeah, you can combo with this level two guy. Yeah, you combo with this level two tuner. Go for yeah, yeah, go for easy five star synchro summons right there. Ooh. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This guy is gonna hope it open up combos and you can combo with your level two tuner right here. This is gonna, yeah, like honestly, for budget players, pull one Shien, you should be able to special some of this easily with some of the rare and end cards of the six samurai. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh pretty cool. Okay, so we have a Musho. If you control a legendary six samurai on uh, Genshin guy or whatever, you can special someone's card for your hand. Once per turn contribute another six samurai monster, target a card on the field, destroy a target. Not bad, not bad at all. Pretty cool right there. Next up, we have Scrap Goblin, level 3 Beast Warrior Tuner. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. In this phase of defense vision card, select it as attack target. Destroy this card at the end of the battle phase. This card is destroyed by the effect of a Scrap card instead of the graveyard. You can select a Scrap Monster in your graveyard, except Scrap Goblin, add it to your hand. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty interesting right there. This card is a good open one card because it can't get destroyed by battle. Gets destroyed during the end phase. Once you do, uh, you can select a scrap monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it's an all right. I think it's a good open up card right there. Hopefully, don't go against any piercing decks though, or else you're gonna get messed up. There's so many samurais at the point they can adapt to anything. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this Jurassic card right here because this is the level one dinosaur tuna monster. You can contribute this card and select a level four or lower Jurassic monster in your graveyard. Except this card, especially some of that card from the graveyard. Not bad, but yeah, it's a level one uh, Jurassic Tuner, so that is a good target to think about. And yeah, pretty cool. So we have the Secret Six Samurai. This is a level one tier monster. So like I was talking about earlier, this was the one I was looking for. So we have this one star Warrior Tuner, and you can combo with Cage Key. And I remember there was a, a four star. There was a really, there was that like four star UR Synchro, like one box like a long time ago. Let me go find it. Yeah, so you can combo with this Underworld card, which is actually kind of cool. When this card is destroyed by battle, card effects and the graveyard, especially on the level 4 lower monster and graveyard, except this card is special on the target. So this is like a solid target to combo with with your 6-sam deck if you have this card. If you really wanted to go for those mad lad plays, so just a thought right there. And yeah, when this card is destroyed by battle, card effects, special summon a 6 samurai monster from your deck, except this card. If exactly one 6 samurai monster you control, no other cards destroy a card effect, you manage this card from your graveyard instead. Why is this card so good? Why why is this card so good? If this is destroy a battle card effect, you special summon a six samurai monster, except this card. If exactly a six samurai monster you control and no other cards are destroyed by card effect, you could banish this from the graveyard. Why is this card so good? Like, are you kidding me? This is a rare card. Honestly, if six samurais become top top meta, which they might be, this card's definitely gonna get hit the hit on the ban list at some point. This card is mental. This card is mental. Okay, why is this so good? Next up, we're going to talk about the whatever. I can't pronounce that first word. Anyways, though, this is a quick play spell. Target a 6 Samurai monster control. Special summon six, six, or 1 6 Samurai monster from your deck with the same attack but a different name. And if you do destroy it during the end phase of your turn. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, it's actually not that bad because you can go for some special summoning shenanigans right there. Why is that card a rare while LOL? It should be a UR. Like I said, that's like going to be one of the cards they're going to hit on the ban list. Konami is A-OK -okay with hitting cards in the ban list if they're rare and ends. So the fact that this is a rare card is easily going to get hit on the ban list if 6 Sam's become top meta. Ban in three weeks, will make a little. But yeah, I don't know. This card's going to be, this 6 Sam card's going to be good for um, special summon and shenanigans. Next up, we have Magical Spraying a spell, a quick play card, draw a number of cards equal to the uh, up to the face up spell and trap cards your opponent controls. And then discard a number of cards equal to the number of face up spell and trap cards you control until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card resolves spell and trap cards your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by battle card effect also their activation cannot be negated you only can activate a magical sprain once per turn 
Yeah, this relies, the only downside to this card, uh, there's actually a lot of downsides to this card, but the fact that you have to rely on your opponent to draw cards is kind of obnoxious. You have to discard a number of cards if you control them. And also in the end phase, your opponent's next turn after this card is all spell and trap cards, opponent control cannot be destroyed. And you only can activate a magical screen once per turn. I think this card might have some slight potential if you play this like turn one. I think turn one, or no, turn two against your opponent. No, but then at the same time, it has to be face up spell and trap cards. Yeah, I don't think this card's reliable at all. AG counter? Not really. I guess yes and no. Yes and no, because the fact that they can't destroy their own cards is good, but the fact that you have to rely on your opponent is bad about this card. This card isn't consistent enough to play well. It would go well against Ancient Gears. You are absolutely correct about that. It would go pretty good against Ancient Gears, but you're not always going to go against an Ancient Gear player. That's, that's the thing. Pretty interesting though, pretty interesting card right there. And the last rare card, we have Mega Roid City. You can target one other card to control, destroy it, and if you do, add a red card from your deck to your hand. So maybe some Roid Scrap combos, Omega Lull. And during damage calculation, if your Roid Monster battles, you can send a Roid Monster from your deck to the graveyard, switch the attack and defense of your battling monster during damage calculation only. You only can use the effect of Mega Roid City once per turn. You can now special summon monsters from the extra deck except future monsters, turn you activate either of the cards at the back, even though this card leaves the field. Don't combo with scraps because of that last text right there. Other screens of good investment uh, for pendulums in the future. Pendulums are years from now, but luckily this is a rare card, so it will be an investment, I guess, but yeah, not that, that much. Please show the good cards for a minute, please. Once this stream's done, go watch the stream right away. I don't want to... This stream's all, almost been an hour already, and I just want to get through the rare cards. Um, but I'll, I'm just, I guess like I'll show it real quickly right there though and also you can go to the description down below and check out the thing. I have this link that talks about all these cards in the description down below. Don't want to talk about the UR cards anymore though because of the fact that I just want to get through this whole box review because it's almost been an hour already. But check the description down below if you want to check out this box. Next up, we're going to start on the normal cards. We have Double Edged Sword Technique. This is a trap normal card. Target two six samurai monsters in your graveyard. Special some of those targets in attack position. During the end phase of this turn, destroy them. And if you do take damage equal to destroy his monster attack. So, yeah, that's actually, uh, this is kind of like a last, like, last stand sort of card. I don't think people should run this card. I think it might be good for maybe budget players that are only investing into this box. This might be a good card for you. But yeah, I don't know. I, I would stay away from this one because you would take a lot of damage. At the same time, though, if you special summon monsters like, you know, Fuma um, and like Cage Gee, you're not going to take too much damage, not thinking about it. Like, honestly, if you special summon uh, Six Samurai, if you summon Six Samurai monsters like this guy and this one, you should be fine, honestly. So maybe this card actually has some uses. Just don't summon the big Six Samurai monsters, and this card won't be that bad. But if you do with like the only the low level ones, I think it should be fine. Next up, we have the first Despot um, Synchro Monster in this list. This is a 10-star machine Synchro. One tier plus one or more non-tier monsters. This card gains fire and attack and defense for each Despot card on the field. You only can use the one of the fall infects the Despot jet per turn and only once that turn. You can target a Despot monster you control and destroy it. And if you do special summon a Despot monster from your deck, you can target a Despot monster you control in a face of card on the field and destroy him. Yeah, not bad. I wanted to see what the level of that level one Despot monster is. Because you guys are telling me that Despot 001 is a tuner monster. I don't know though. We'll we'll see if there's even any of the uh, Despot Tuner monsters as it is right there. Welcome back to the stream, essay. I hope uh, you did well in your class. Except we're gonna talk about Despot 009. Where's Despot 007? Where's James Vaughn? Omega Lil. Anyway, so this is a level 9 machine effect. Once per turn during your main phase 1, you can make this card gain attack equal to the combined attack of all Despot monsters you currently control, except Despot 009. Until the end of your opponent's turn, this card can only attack the turn this effect is activated. If this card battles, your opponent's card effect cannot be activated to the end of the damage step. If this card would be destroyed by battle card effect and destroy a Despot monster you controlled instead. Interesting card. Um, honestly though, these Despot monsters do not have that much attack though. A combined attack of all this monster monsters you currently control except this card. So honestly, the maximum you're probably gonna be getting is around a thousand, not thinking about it. What are some other Despot monsters? 500. 500. Yeah, I think the max you're gonna get from this guy is only a thousand. Yeah, that is for sure. I don't think I don't think that's gonna be a too good right there. Oh, it's 007 the pendulum ones? Damn. Actually, yeah, let me look up uh here actually let me do this. Despot is 007. Does this actually exist? Oh, it does. Why Konami added already? Konami added already, my guy. Come on, Konami. Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, four against Hell Attack, or is it just three? Read Despot, oh, four against Hell Attack, or is it just three? We'll see, though. We're just going to stick to what it is. And looks like. What? 
Come on, Decade. Come on, Duel Links meta. I guess uh, we can just search this up real quick. I'll go search this up and see if we can get the effect of Ally Justice, because actually, no, we can just do this. Because the Ally of Justice right here doesn't even have the text, it doesn't even have the text right there. The only way you get it's from Warriors and Knight. Nonetheless, though, Ally Justice only weapons a five star machine effect. Once card destroys a light monster by battle, sends to the graveyard, draw a card. If the card is a level four or lower dark monster, reveal that card to special summon it. 2200 attack, 800 defense, so. Yeah, kind of meh. Relies on light monsters only. That's an issue right there. Except we're going to talk about this Jurassic Synchro. It's a five-star uh, dinosaur synchro. Tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. Will this card's attack defense? Already equal to the total original attack of the synchro material monsters used for synchro seven. This card attacks a face down defense for your monster. You can destroy the monster immediately with this card effect without flipping it face up or applying a damage calculation. Not bad. Could be worse, honestly. We have some pretty beefy dinos anyways. So yeah, this is not bad. I have to, I can see some people attacking on this card. That is for sure. Don't call the Watt. Don't call Watt an idiot. Who call it Watt, you freaking idiot. These boys can get to high attack. Dude, I've never seen Despots before. Why are you calling me an idiot when I'm not knowledgeable on something, my guy? Educate me, homie. Uh, but I don't know. I'm just gonna ignore the Despots for now because I need to play the deck and to actually learn. I'm more of a hands-on. I'm more of a hands-on learner, my amigo. I need to test them out myself. And I don't want to dwell on Despots too much. If they're broken, they're broken. Except that we're gonna talk about Scrap Soldier. This is a five-star Warrior Tuner. This card cannot be used to Synchro Material Monster except for the Synchro a Summon of a Scrap Monster. If this face of Defense Fishing card is as selected as Attack Target, destroy this card at the end of the battle phase. If this card is destroyed by effect of a Scrap Mon card, instance in the graveyard, you can select one Scrap Monster. In your graveyard, except Scrap Soldier, add it to your hand. 2100, 2100 attack, 700 defense right there. So, yeah. Uh, what I kind of read that without even processing any of this right there, but it can't be used to Sinker Monster except for um, Scrap Monster. So, there's that right there. It is a five star tuner, which I do like, so it's going to easily combo with the UR card if you can get this out um, easily. Um, if this card is selected, attack target and destroy it in the end of battle phase. This card is destroyed by effect of Scrap Cards in the graveyard. Select Scrap Monster in your graveyard, except Scrap Soldier, and add it to your hand. So, yeah, if you can easily special summon this card with Scraps. This is going to be one of the tuners you're going to want to go for, for sure. So, yeah. Cool card right there. Click on the final spell card. Is it one of these ones right here? Where's the final spell card? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by the final spell card. Talk about child's play. I don't know. We're, we'll get to that soon. Uh, The future monster that takes monster egg. That's broken. Oh, snap. Anyways, we have Grappler right here. 30 are, what is it, a 1300, 1200, uh, 1300 attack monster, 1200 defense monster. Now the two grades right there. We talked about Road Synchron earlier, so we're going to skip past that. Like, so we have the Legendary Secret of Six Samurai. Cool card. Uh, Warrior Effect. Once card's normal special summon a six, uh, secret Six Samurai monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect of the Legendary Secret of Six Samurai once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish level 4 or lower Six Samurai monster in your graveyard until the end of the turn. This card's attribute level and attack and defense become the same as a banished monsters so cool right there um yeah another one of the cards where i kind of read and didn't process everything normal summoner special summon a secret samurai monster during damage step you can special summon this card from your hand okay yeah so that's pretty good right there uh only can use effect once per turn once per turn you can banish level four or lower six samurai monster from graveyard and make this card's attribute level and attack defense become the same as banished monster i think this will be a pretty solid card for synchro summoning just in general I think some people are going to want to run this for just really good synchro summoning potential. That is for sure. So yeah, combo this with the one-star tuner monster. Combo this with, um, yeah, four-star, one-star going to Xi'an pretty easily. Xi'an's going to be so easy to summon into with some of these uh, six samurai cards. That is for sure. Next up, we have a goofy looking card right here. We have a water three-star warrior effect. Cannot be special summon except by its own effect. If this card is attributed for a tribute summon during your next standby phase, you can special summon this card from the graveyard. You cannot special summon monster from the extra deck during the turn you activate its effect. I can see why this is a normal card. Don't really want to dwell on it anymore. Next up, we have Evil Light to cast Zero or something like that. Not going to try to pronounce that again. This is a Fire 3 star Reptile effect. At the end of the battle phase, this card destroys opponent's monster by battle. You can this card, special summon level 2 or lower level. Or no, you can special summon 2 level 6 or lower fires, uh, Fire Dinosaur type monster with the same name for your deck. Their effects are gated and are banished during the end phase. So, Oh, yeah, if there's a main phase too, this card would be good. Yeah, honestly, if there's a main phase 2, this card would be way too good. There's probably some combos you can do because, you know, dinosaurs like to banish themselves. You can combo this with probably like Triangle Affinity, maybe, or something like that. But the fact that this, there's no main phase 2 kind of makes this card booty. What's up, Alkru? 
Welcome to the stream, my guy. Thank you for posting those leaks in my uh, data mine section of my Discord. Appreciate it. Right, so we have Jurassic Dino, so a three-star dinosaur tuna. Well, and once during your uh, each player's end phase, this card destroyed opponent's monster for battle this turn. Contribute Jurassic Monster, draw two cards. Not bad. This is a new Evo support for Shadow, the release of the XYZ mechanic. Maybe, man. I know Brad was talking about that a lot. I could definitely see it. Um, honestly, we'll probably get some hints in Zexa World during the summertime. That's for sure. Anyways, so let's go move on to the next card. We have Jurassic Mono Lord for something like that. Level 3 Dinosaur Tuner. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. 1500 attack, 20 at 1200 defense. Nothing too crazy though. The only thing that's interesting about this is the fact that it is a Tuner Master. I'm hyped for this box too. I haven't been hyped for a box in a long time, but this box has definitely got me hyped. Uh, so far today has been enjoyable. Just wish I didn't have school. School has been hella boring recently. Appreciate the comment, my guy. Next up, we're going to talk about Legendary Six Samurai Shin'ai. This is a level 3 warrior effect. If you control Legendary Six Samurai Musho, you can switch some of this card for your hand. This card's on the field, attributed, um, target a Six Samurai monster in graveyard, and adds your hand. Okay. Next up, we have a broken fusion monster. It takes monster egg and plus hit on Soul. 1100 attack, 800 defense, broken. Another broken card in this game, and probably the best reason they go into this box. Monster Egg, a warrior hidden within it. I can't even freaking meme it up. A warrior hidden when it, why can I not say that? I literally like got the word in my head and I can't sit within. There you go. Within, why is that so difficult for me? Within an egg that attacks enemies by flinging eggshells. See, this card is so broken that I can't even pronounce it. That's why this card needs a nerf, because I can't even pronounce within anymore for how powerful this card is. Broken card. Next up, we have Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. The Six Samurai is supported from the shadows by his silent, mysterious war. From his past is unknown to him, but his countless scars are proof of his existence. Tier zero card, I agree, guys. Uh, Monster Egg, broken. Next up, we have Secret Six Samurai Genshra. This is a Genji from Overwatch. Level two Warrior Tuner. When this card is normal summon, target, you can target one of your banished Six Samurai monsters, add to your hand. If exactly one Six Samurai monster you control, and other cards will be destroyed by card effect. You can banish this card from Graver instead. Solid. Next up, we have Jurassic Gallum, level two a Dinosaur Tuner. When this card is thrown balance in the graveyard, opponent can discard a card and negate this card effect. Otherwise, destroy the monster that destroyed this card. I actually like this one. This one has a lot of benefit, because one, you're forcing your opponent to discard a card, or you get the potential to destroy that monster your opponent controls. This is actually a pretty good normal card, if I'm going to be honest. This is actually a pretty decent normal card. I like it. Next up, we have Nitro Synchro. This card sent the graveyard for a Synchro Summon Nitro Warrior Synchro Monster. Draw a card. Very epic. So we got Despot 002. This card is special summon. You can add a Despot card from your deck to your hand. All machine type monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense, except this card. Very cool right there. Andres Lara, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, homie. So yeah, I'm gonna guess how Despots get so much attack is because once all three Despot monsters get on the on the field, they all start getting attacked together. That's probably what you guys are talking about. Like I said, I've never played Despots before. I'm not knowledge on the TCG, but I'm gonna guess the reason why Despots get so much attack is because all when all of them are on the field, they get a ton of a ton of attack. So good for farming, and probably some people are gonna build some sick decks and rank PP. That is for sure. D, little D is tier zero. Big facts, big facts. Except we have a Kajimara or something like that of six samurai. Level two warrior tuner. During each player's turn, when exactly one face of six samurai monster you control is targeted by a spell card, trap card, or card effect that would have targeted this card, you can activate this effect. That spell and trap card effect now targets this face up card on the field instead. Yeah, that's not too bad. Mostly what I'm looking forward to this card is the fact that it's a two star warrior tuner. It's just a good option for like Synchro Summon and stuff like that. So that is uh, pretty cool right there. Next up, we have Grappler Angle. This is a level one warrior tuner. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can target a monster in your graveyard, special summon it in a defense position. Um, probably not going to happen that often. You're going to need to combo some other cards with to use this card to uh, you know, get the most use out of it. I feel like this card's definitely a pass, though. So. No Machine Dupe and Duel Links. I actually, no, there's like one copy of it, I believe. Hold up. I think there's actually one machine duplication in Duel Links. Um. Uh, dupe. Ah, oh, where was it? Come on. I thought I could have. Yeah, there it is. I was about to say, there is one of them in this game. And to get this one, you have to get it. So I think there's only one copy of this card that you can get, and it's from Band of Keith. It's a level 35 Keith card. So yeah, if you don't have a Band of Keith leveled up and you want to play those machine decks. And get that card. You can get at least one copy of it. So, that's pretty uh, cool right there. Let's go to this. There we go. Um, sick. Where were we last on? Okay, let's start talking about this card. This is the next one. Level 1 Warrior Tuner. During damage calculation, during each player's turn, if a 6 Samurai monster control battles, you can send this card from your hands to the grave. That monster cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. 300 attack, 700 defense. Very cool right there. Um, yeah, I mean, it combos with the 6 Samurai boys, but the fact that it doesn't have 6 Samurai in its name kind of hinders this card. 
Um, so there's that right there. But I mean, hey, this is a decent hand trap because you can protect your monster um, from being destroyed at battle. So that's pretty good about it. Very epic right there. We have Despot 001 Attribute Earth Level 1 Machine Tuner. This card uh, gains fire and attack and defense for each machine monster you control. If two or more machine type monsters special summon at the same time while well, this card is engraved, you can special summon this card. Cool. That's pretty cool right there. Um, this is a level one. And where's that other death spot monster I was talking about? Okay, yeah, so you can go for some easy five-star synchro summons with death spot 004 and death spot 001. So that's pretty cool right there. Armadius is a good target. Um, so the fact that you special summon, you can special summon two death spots also means you can go for potential six-star synchro summons too. So you can go for like stars charge warrior and stuff like that. Not bad. Sorry for that, man. I've been commentating so long, and I gotta get that burp in there. Oh my god, lol. Next up, we're gonna talk about summon over. Each time a monster is special summoned, place a summon counter on this card, maximum of six. This card, uh, with six summon counters, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, at the start of each main phase one, if this card has six summon counters, that the turn this player can activate this effect, they send this card to the graveyard. If they do, they send all special summon monsters their opponent controls to the graveyard. Very cool right there. Oh, they also have a field spell. That's cool. I just don't know if the field spell is in this uh, box or whatever. Is what it is right there, though. But yeah, each time a monster special summon plays a counter on the card. Uh, monster, this card with six summon counters cannot be destroyed with card effects. At the start of each main phase, this card has six summon counters to turn the player activate the effect. Then it's engraved if they do send all special summon monsters their opponent controls to graveyard. I feel like this would be a great meme to pull on, but it's not practical. But yeah, this is, this is a great meme to pull off. If someone pulls this off against you, that's a yikes. Okay, so we have Child's Play. I'm, I, I am definitely a child, so let's take a look at this card, I guess. Each time your opponent summons a monster, gain 300 life points. Your opponents cannot be destroyed. Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle while you have 10,000 or more life points. Okay. Arrow Mages. Arrow Mages. Make it happen, boys. Arrow Mages, make it happen. Omega lol. Because we have different dimension and counter. Both players have at least one banished monster that can be special summoned. Each player special summons one of their banished monsters in face down defense position. Okay. Because we have Giant Trap, Hole, and two or more monsters special summon at the same time. Destroy all monsters on the field. Okay. So we have Backs to the Wall, Trap Normal, Pay Life Points, you only have 100 left. Special summon as many six samurai monsters with different names as possible from Grave as possible. You cannot special summon a monster with the same name as the monster you already control. Wow. That is definitely a last. I, I could see some people playing this. A last resort thing right there is going to be pretty wild right there. Still, 100 life points only is very, very vulnerable in Duel Links, that's for sure. Still, I can see people playing this card. That's for sure. Open up for some crazy um, synchro summoning shenanigans. Next up, we have a uh, yeah, G generation force or whatever, like D Gen force. Tribute one level four higher dinosaur monster, special summon level three or lower reptile monster from my hand in our graveyard. Okay, that's pretty cool right there. Next up, we have a uh, swift samurai storm. Each turn after the first time samurai mon six samurai monsters you control battles, all six samurai monsters you control get three on attack to the end of this turn. Okay, yeah, that is a little boost right there. Breakthrough. Select one six samurai monster you control. If the selected monster destroys the opponent's monster by battle, great shogun chin and six samurai monsters you control attack your opponent directly during the battle phase of this turn. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I this is that that's this is a very interesting card right here. Honestly, I can't wait till someone just memes it up. This is gonna be such a meme card, man. Like, it's not practical practical, but it's more practical than some of the other meme cards in this box, if I'm being honest. Okay. Except we have, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna try to butcher this card. When your opponent's mon- when your opponent activates spell and trap card or monster effect that destroys the cards, well, it can hold six samurai a monster and negate the activation if you destroy it. Honestly, that's not that bad. Yeah, the only downside to it is that if you don't have any six samurais on the board, you can't use this at all. But for what it's worth, six samurais, they spam the heck out of each other. So I can see this card being used for budget players, that's for sure. Last but not least, we have Miss Polarmization. Activate only when the future monster is special summoned. Return all face of future monsters to their respective extra decks. Man, that was an hour long review. That was like one of the longest hours I've had in a while, and we currently have 141 viewers. Well, I'm just going to wrap it up right here because I got other shenanigans to do. I appreciate every one of you guys for stopping by into the stream. A lot of information that I just read and I it was a lot to process and all that stuff right there. Um, Tomorrow, I'll be releasing a video talking about all of these leaks. We have a ton of new skill leaks that I'm going to be talking about and we also have some rank cards I'm going to be talking about in my next video. So be on the lookout for that leak video. I think I'm going to plan to drop it around 3 p.m. CDT if I can get that video like 
edited tonight and uploaded tomorrow. So there's that right there. Hopefully you get the announcement of this box coming soon. And yeah, I hope to do more streams for you guys. So I appreciate that. If you guys haven't already though, I'd love if we can get some more Discord members. We're actually almost like a thousand Discord members. So if you wanna join my Discord, feel free to go join my Discord. And if you guys wanna support me as a content creator, you can join as a YouTube member. I got a lot of sick emotes, man. I got a lot of waifu emotes. I got a lot of epic emotes right there. So if you wanna get those emotes for future streams and all those shenanigans, check those out. Seriously though, thank you so much for stopping by today's stream. I haven't had a stream with over a hundred people in a long time so i appreciate all of you guys thank you so much yeah leave a like on the stream if you guys enjoyed appreciate it carlos but yeah we wrap it up today thank you so much for watching and i'll go see you guys in the next Yu Gi Oh video or whatever video i decide to upload peace out